in the game um, you I are not right now <laughs> but you could thanks you never thanks, know thanks thanks so much it's I an so ongoing loved. process this just game just guy in background like that no and cool. also we also discussed about how if there's something say that i have a movie premiere coming up i have some exciting right. event we can actually put that in the game oh nice okay so it's also you know they want to, so we like we sh i shared my whole schedule with them like this is what right. i'm doing these are the clothes i like wearing this is the hairstyle i like doing right. things like that so it's actually in tune with my life oh nice so so cool and um did you did you play a lot of games as a kid yeah there's this fly that is obviously your biggest fan um <laughs> that has just not left your side since we started <laughs> um, but did you did you play games as a kid or do you now on the phone like to sort see, of see i i'm i'm on the games but i can't play games that frustrate me okay i need the games to calm me down okay so um i do play games like right. i mean i've played farmville i've played right. like candy crush and stuff like that but for me when i'm going through my hectic life i need a game to to relax me or to basically you know um most most importantly do the time pass make make right. use of your time but right. in a relaxing way so sure. and which is why i said i said to them as well i said let this game be not frustrating like let okay. it be simple right. and they're like no don't worry it's going to be really simple and very smooth and it's like you're walking through you know your life but right. virtually i i'm glad you said that because does this happen to anybody else here it happens to me all the time when i'm playing frustrating games where i'll be like i'll be sitting i'll be again too graphic i'll be sitting in the loo i'll be sitting on my couch and i'll just be playing this game and i'll be thinking to myself you know i've i've had a good year i've worked hard i sort of take care of business i have a good relationship with my family i'm a good person i think i've achieved a lot in life then i'll be playing and then that one pig will not die or that one this thing will happen and my instant reaction will be like tu kya hai tu kya hai tere se ye bhi nahi hota matlab tu tu kya matlab jhand insaan hai tu like that does that happen to anybody else where if you mess up a level in a game you're just like my life is only not worth living yeah. like it doesn't matter what i've achieved it's just Can't this my life way. is pointless especially when you're a competitive person like i will exactly. compete with my father you know right. like i will i will compete if we have to win something we will make sure we win right so i'm so, not winning then it's a problem then yeah exactly so that's why you like take this competitive element out of the game so what is that something that your fans will respond to in the game what do you think they are going to take away from this like uh your... i mean i hope they take take away an experience right okay i mean it's not like we i don't get um uh i don't communicate through my social media platforms but mm -hmm. i can't always respond to everybody and my heart breaks when i can't do that because i mean that would be i would be doing that nobody would be seeing me in any movies correct right? i mean i'd be yeah i don't think you'd be able to respond ever because last i checked what you are india's most successful star on social media i would not say most i'm just no i'm saying look let's just be blunt in terms of pure numbers you're talking to a guy who built his career on the internet and our entire <laughs> point of nv is we just go and we look at your followers sometimes we're like it's not fair yeah <laughs> this is not this is not fair apna pura life internet pe lekin like we have 2 million and then whatever followers we have you add two zeros to it and you get alia social media followers no 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 i'm honestly very i feel very grateful and flattered that i have those many followers okay uh it seems i mean a bit surreal sometimes right. but as you rightfully said i can't sit and respond it's not like i don't want to i do try to do Fair a chat enough. session every now and then but i feel like anybody who checks into this game will be able to hear my voice will be able to hear see the videos and again it's not about me it's right. about you Sure. You know, and it's not like come, come. I'll give you a piece of me. It's not also about that. It's right. just like come have an experience, and whilst you do that, I'll be your friend. You nice. know, we can be friends. And it's not like I'm saying none of you are my friends. I literally have love and affection and pure like gratitude for everybody who says good things or bad things about me. Because right. even okay. bad things sometimes make a difference. Fair you know, uh, in yeah. a good way. Sure. Um. So yeah, I think this is in in a sense. a way of connecting and just staying in touch and another another medium of communication nice okay so before we talk a little bit more about the game i have one more question for you about movies which is that i mentioned you did just march to march you have done four huge films that have sort of come and gone and so there was kapoor and sons urta punjab dear zindagi and then badri so when you are working on all these movies simultaneously how do you keep your head straight like how do you how do you not show up one day on the set of urta punjab just as kaira like how do you keep it straight you know it is very difficult and okay. that's where the director comes in place so i was fun thing is i was shooting for dear zindagi and uh, badinathi dulania a little bit simultaneously so the first schedule was badinathi dulania i was doing some extra subtle acting 
and shashank was like alia what are you doing so it became like a fun thing where he said alia not dear zindagi fear zindagi <laughs> right okay so whenever i was oh. doing a dear zindagi kind of acting mm-hmm. he used to come and say no fear zindagi right this week need to go to the other space we need to we go, need to, go, to, go the to the other, other zone so yeah but you that's where your director your your co-actors and everybody comes in you know in in helping you because honestly it is very very difficult which is why I like doing one film at a time but mm-hmm. you can't always do one film at a time so dear zindagi is something that i actually want to talk about more than any of the other movies last year because for me what was really nice about watching dear zindagi is it felt like a space that indian movies don't usually go towards um which is this sort of idea of this person who if you look at it as a normal hindi movie there's it's not that much conflict you can look at it and be like is ladki ke life mein problem kya hai it's just love problems which everybody else has but i like that it takes that and it turns it into a sort of conversation about mental self care and mental care which is something that i don't think we do a lot of in india and is that something that drew you to the character um yeah definitely i mean uh we know this you and i uh, we have a common person in in common who yeah. has suffered through depression yeah. and who yeah. is not afraid to talk about it yeah. uh my sister uh because that the whole idea of being afraid to talk about there's something wrong with the way you're feeling is the is the idea that i feel we need to get rid of in the society um dear zindagi was maybe a subtle sort of more lighter way of approaching without being preachy because you know whenever we try to be preachy people run away in the opposite yeah, direction i would do that as well i don't sure. want to hear a you know like a bhashan from somebody sure. but if somebody's giving me um a, a sweet kind of um a representation or a a subtle representation of how people actually feel they may not need to be a really big problem but you can be feeling a certain way and i feel like we should start talking about it like it's a cold like you know because sure. it's as common as a cold and i really really like that about that character and that space and how she just develops this friendship with her with her therapist i mean right. jahangir khan is totally fictitious he does not exist uh, he's not you know i mean i don't know anybody as i mean as cool as, as sexy and as, as cool yeah. and living would... in a great little cottage in goa but um, i mean a lot of the things that we discussed i did relate to and i'm sure many girls out there related to as well all right fantastic so before we talk a little bit more about the game and i'm going to get mark and tanay up here as well we have a little promo video that we'd like to show everybody so here we go with a promo video for that meeting of minds to say here's what we want to do uh here's what you know here's how games work it's it just it just flowed so it was great All right now, so since you mentioned that you have worked with other actors before um yeah. you've worked with James Earl Jones yeah. and and Ian McKellen what was it like meeting the voice of Darth Vader was there was there ever a moment where you were just like record this for my answering that machine was, that was <laughs> actually <laughs> so it, that he was in one of the games that we made at Westwood I didn't right. actually get to meet him but okay. in the game that voice coming through is just amazing it adds a deep sort of seriousness to it now yeah, yeah. Ian McClellan and the other folks there on the Lord of the Rings set right right yeah that was it was both wonderful but it was also a little frustrating i to tell you why because okay. when you sit across from the table and have lunch with the hobbits and they're talking about the party they went out <laughs> <laughs> and had the night before you're like you're a hobbit but you're a person but you're you know it kind of breaks yeah. that reality don't break the illusion oh, for me real? oh, yeah God. or or you see a guy they named tall paul who's the stand in for gandalf when he's standing next to the hobbit and he's a 7 foot tall dude just right. lumbering around the set right okay. so it, it's it's kind of it's good and it's bad cuz it breaks that reality so when we see 